Welcome to iDig Zambia, an intensive educational workshop that teaches teens about science and African culture. This summer, nine teens at the Field Museum in Chicago and 11 teens at Global Kids in New York use the virtual world Teen Second Life as an online classroom to work collaboratively with a team of paleontologists digging up fossils in Zambia. Teen Second Life is a virtual world where thousands of young people get together every day to socialize, play, develop business skills, and learn. You move around in Second Life using your avatar, a 3D character that can look like a regular human. Or anything else that you like. Virtual worlds make it possible for us to go on the expedition of a lifetime. With a virtual fossil day created just for us. In the virtual world, teens participated in a fossil dig and learned about culture and current issues in Zambia. Each day, we would start with a Skype call with the scientist team in Zambia. The scientists would give the teen updates on their dig, and the teens would ask the scientists questions about their virtual digs, the fossils they were studying, what it is like to work in the field, and career paths in science. Then the teens would start digging. The teens would watch videos sent from the scientist team about various aspects of paleontological field work. And then they would try to replicate that in the virtual world. The teens learned about all the equipment and preparation needed for a paleontological dig, learned the reasons why scientists study fossils, and saw real discoveries from the field. They use team problem-solving skills to successfully assemble their virtual fossils. Finally, they research their discovery to create a virtual museum exhibition on their ancient animal and the environment in which it lived. Teens were also able to see real fossils and museum exhibits with a behind-the-scenes tour where they learned more about the fossils they were studying and African culture. The teens at the Field Museum had their own private tour of evolving planets where they explored geologic time and mass extinction. They visited the oversized fossil storage facility and fossil prep lab where they learned how fossils are jacketed, stored, prepped, and preserved for research and museum displays. Finally, they had a private tour of the Hall of Africa where they began to see the vast richness and diversity of African culture and biodiversity. Each afternoon of the workshop, we explored Zambian issues and culture. We worked with a local school in the village of Mafue and with the Chipembele Wildlife Education Trust to learn about Zambia directly from the locals. We explored topics that included AIDS education, climate change, and music and dance. One favorite activity was the exploration of human-animal conflict. Teens explored some of the issues that humans and animals face in Zambia and throughout Africa. Through an activity in Second Life, they learned that elephants can be viewed as pests and a threat to farmers in Zambia. Teens then brainstormed how they would solve the human-elephant conflict. They then watched a video about the red cap members of the South Mwangwa Conservation Society in Zambia that used chili bricks to deter elephants from entering farming areas. In this pilot project, the teens in Zambia and the U.S. were able to communicate with each other through photo and letter exchanges. The staff working with the Zambian youth sent several photos and letters documenting school life in Zambia. In turn, the American teens sent photos and collages about themselves and their lives in America. Through this exchange, the teens were able to understand each other's country on a more personal level.